Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're continuing on with our Abundance Journal Kit. And as promised, I'm going to play with some sprays today. I'm kind of excited because I haven't used these for a long time, these Distress Oxide sprays. So I'm not sure, sure what will happen, but we're gonna see what we can do. So I'm gonna start with one of these pages that I did the jelly plate printing on and I'm just going to pick out, I don't want to get too carried away. So I've got fossilized amber and I think I want peeled paint. If I can find it. Let's see. Cracks with pistachio. I mean that might work. Here it is, <clears throat> peeled paint. So here is the palette where I sprayed so I could see what colors they really were. So I'm thinking the peeled paint and fossilized amber and maybe even the spiced marmalade, probably not the fired brick. Let's see, there it is, spiced marmalade. So, as I mentioned on the other video, um, I never was very happy with these because they're chalky, they're not very pretty, I don't think. But when you put them over um, either gesso or acrylic paint, they look better. I, I've experimented with them. So I do think they do a little bit more interesting things when you use use them over that. So. I'm just going to start spraying and see what happens. This is the fossilized amber. And I kind of want to make them run if I can. Hmm, they're not wanting to run, are they? And... run just a little bit but not much I've got some on the outside here too that I'm gonna mop up I think with some of the I have some of these uh, from the add-on kit but I didn't put any decoupage on so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mop up what's here Just kind of see what I end up with. Okay, well that didn't do a whole lot. I'm gonna get the I'm just going to keep spraying and see. See what I can get to have happen here. To me, what gets interesting is when you get kind of these puddles and they run and they create some really interesting patterns. Um, but it looks like this dried really fast. And that looks almost like blue, so I don't know if I didn't get it shook up good. Maybe that's what's wrong. Okay. 
All right, well, I'm gonna let that one alone. I'm gonna stop and let that dry. And let's see, move on to, let me find one that's got colors that sort of go with the, okay. That looks like it, I could use the, this is one of the ones that when I painted it, it's like it had, uh, pattern in the paint because it was the paint was so thick and I'm just gonna let that run see if I can get some interesting patterns So I'm going to let that dry. And I am going to use some of the mica sprays here in just a minute, but um, let me wipe this table off. I wanted to play with these distress sprays first, see what I could get them to do. Okay. Put this all over my hands by this point. Let's see. I'm going to try some cracked raspberry. I mean, <laughs> some cracked pistachio and peel paint. Okay, that's getting some interesting things on here. And that's kind of cool, but that is on a pocket, so it's not going to show. So that was kind of a waste. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lay that over here. Try the gold again. Fossilized amber. And I think I'm going to leave it alone. Here's another one that... I think the fossilized amber might look kind of cool on. If I can get it to do something. And I think I might try if I can find vintage photo on here. And oh my goodness, this spray is going everywhere. So fortunately I have an apron on, but it's going to be all over the place. I was going to spray some of these ones that I did the decoupage on, but I, I really think these are so opaque. I'm not, I'm not liking them for that. I think I'm going to use the mica sprays on these. I'm going to let those dry and clean this up, and then I'm going to come back and use the mica sprays. Okay, I'm going to try now some of the mica sprays, I think. Okay, so this, so I have Lindy's Moon Shadow Mist, which are dark turquoise. They, they're brown, but they have, when they, when you shimmer them under the light, they um, have a color cast to them. It's really pretty. Gold. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Lindy's Gossamer Gold, and this is the Moon Shadow Mist, so it's going to be brown, basically. And I'm kind of wanting drips, so hopefully this will see. Yeah. I don't want dribs and drabs of this. And I'm hoping to get some runs, a couple, but not much. Kind of. And I'm going to take the Distress Mica Spray Antiqued Bronze, which is a Tim Holtz 
like a spray. And you know, when you use these, you always have to shake them up really well the whole time you're using them. And that one's a little bit better behaved spray wise, I have to say. Let that dry. I'm going to take one of these ones that I just did and spray it a little heavier with this mica spray. We just kind of mix these. Uh, what else have I got here? I've got uh, hot poker orange, <laughs> which is a starburst spray. So I'm going to add that to it. what happens. Ooh, well that's pretty. Put that over here to dry. Here's a decoupage one. So I'm going to try some of the blue. I've got uh, Time Travel Teal. I've got a Glimmer Mist too that I got from Linda Israel's website. And I'm looking for the color on this one. Bahama Blue. So I think I'm going to try these two on this one. Might even add a little bit of the chartreuse. See what I can do to this. Let's see. I think maybe the key of these of the mica sprays is to get enough on there that they can run and start to do that, that kind of thing because that's what I was looking for. Okay. Putting a little more on so it can run. And I'm gonna let that one dry. Here's another one where I just used the uh, Distress Oxide Spray. See how dull it is? I just I'm not I'm not impressed. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan. So I think I'm gonna use some of my. Oxide. I'm sorry, my mica spray, the Chartreuse. Looking at the colors on here, I could sh the moon shadow is going to be brown, so I think that's if I can get. Let's see, moon shadow. Well, there's the gold. I'll, I'll do some of that, and no, that was the orange. I also have like a. Dazzling Diamonds, which is just a clear or, you know, silver. Well, that's kind of cool. This is the Lindy Starburst Cement Green. And I'm going to add some blue to it, I think. Kind of letting it drip so hopefully it'll run. And maybe some chartreuse. And I'm gonna try some of this clear, or it's not clear, it's uh, the diamonds. Dazzling diamonds, uh, glimmer mist that I got from Linda Israel. I'm gonna try that. Still got enough on it to run, so I want it to run and now I've got here's another decoupage. I really like this. I like the colors and everything. So I'm just gonna spray some of this 
dazzling diamonds on it. And see what happens. And hopefully it'll just kind of give it a shimmer. So we'll see how that turns out when it dries. I like covering these up. I don't like these at all. <laughs> these are dry and there's just nothing interesting about that to me. Um, so I am going to, ooh, well, that's some of these Lindy's are a little hard. They, the lids don't, aren't on there really well. I've noticed. All right, so I'm going to try the time travel teal. And the glimmer mist. Oops. And the Lindy's cement green. Whoa, see what I mean when you shake it? It just kind of goes everywhere. So there's kind of wanting that fractured look there. That looks really pretty. Okay, here's one that I'm not crazy about the color combination of the of paint. So I'm going to go over it with Gossamer Gold from Lindy's. And I just spread this at my face. <laughs> okay, don't do that. And I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, diamonds, dazzling diamonds. And that's going to let it run. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of these pages that I did with the Distress, the o distress Oxide Spray. I'm going to just go ahead and add mica spray to them since I don't like them. Putting that diamond spray on, adding the gold in the mist. Here's the copper, or no, antique bronze. This is the Tim Holtz. Same with the gold. Shimmering silver, or diamond, sorry. So some of these, I'm going to use the, I didn't put any of the uh, oxide spray on. I'm just going to use, I'm using this diamond, dazzling diamonds, oxide, and I don't want that one, I want the gold again. So I'm going to, it says gold, but it looks like dark brown, but it's got a gold tone to it when it runs and the light hits it. And just some of the green. Let that run. Okay, this is quick, <laughs> fast work. I mean, other than when you're sitting there trying to get it to run, 
it's quick. Okay. The orange. The green. The clear. <laughs> the blue. Here's another one where I decoupaged. I think I'm going to try spraying some of the Remember when I said I was going to be subtle <laughs> with my colors? Well, that didn't last long, did it? I think I'll spray just a little bit of the clear on these. Okay, I I'm not sure how that'll turn out, how that clear works, if it, how much shimmer it actually has once it's done. I'm going to just blot up this. I'm going to spray it with clear. with the clear. And then try some of the, oh, let's see, the gold. Hot, red hot poker orange. I'm gonna try on this side. Looks like I might have to use a bunch of white just so to <laughs> knock some of this back. Okay, this one we need some of the clear, the white. And then the green. to do the cards though so let's see what I can do to cover this paint that I'm not crazy about let's see That's good for that. This I'm going to do clear. And the gold, the top, I think. This one I'm going to add the chartreuse, I think, in the middle. And spray, let's see. If I can get away with spraying the, probably not, I better stop. <laughs> I'm gonna spray some of the clear just to make it run more. So this one, I'm going to spray chartreuse on the back of this one just because that is the color that I wanted on the front. Okay. 
I might just do. Okay, so this one, it's really just about these cards. So I use these same colors. down to just these little cards like this that really it doesn't matter. I just kind of need something so it's not white on the back. So I'm going to spray the table. Yeah, I get that kind of effect. I don't like that. Maybe I should have done more of that in hindsight. And I think that's, I don't know, I have one more. No, that's it. That's all my pages. I have something. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right. I'm spray, I think I'm going to spray a little bit more. I've got some white edges. Oh, see right there? That's what I kept warning you about. <laughs> Don't do that. And then I did it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let these dry, and then I'm going to come back and let you, let you see what they look like all dry. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm back, and I've got the dried results of the sprays. So I cut... I cut my pieces up, and so here are the backs of some of the journaling cards. I hope these show up, if you can see the iridescent. But those, I think, came out really pretty. This is just going to be for flaps on these two pieces, so I think that came out great. Uh, this is one of my full page, so th this is what will show. So I'm going to do some more work on these. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go in with some um, gesso and uh, modeling paste and do some things. And then here's another one. And this is the one where, if you can, so I hope you can see the texture of the paint. The paint went on really thick. And so the iridescence picked that up. And I was also going to mention, oh yeah, so if you ever do this... <laughs> Um, you know how I said the paint seals the paper so it can't bleed through? Well, it, it does if the paint's thick enough. But for whatever reason, even though this one was, I thought, super heavy, some of that spray still bled through. So it's not a perfect, not a perfect technique, at least, at least the way that I did it. <laughs> so here's another one that came out, I think, really pretty. I'm turning it. Hopefully you can see the iridescence. There's another card. Back. There's one decoupage and different sprays and splatters. That one came out really nice, I think. Here's some more cards. I like that one a lot. And that was on the same one. That one, I love, I love that. I think that just came out great. This one with the decoupage. And I think, you know, in, in hindsight, what I probably should have done is gone over this with some clear gesso. That would have sealed the napkins and caused the iridescence to be iridescent on those instead of just absorbing in and being flat. So, and I also still need to go over this with uh, sandpaper. And if you do the decoupage, be sure you do that step because right now it's really rough and it's really stiff. And as soon as you run a, like an emery board or sandpaper over it, it gets really soft and supple and it's just really nice. So be sure you do that step. And here's another one. 
I love this one. The color is just super subtle. Went really well with that napkin. Back of a card. Nice blue green. See this one bled through, which is fine. You can still read it and it's fine. It just adds to kind of that junk journal quality. Oh, this one came out really nice, I think. This one had a lot of paint. You can see the paint texture in it. And it didn't really bleed through on this one, so. Here's the decoupage, let's see. This is probably my least favorite. I have a feeling something's gonna go over that. <laughs> I don't like that much at all. I might do something with gesso though. It might come out to be something I like. That one came out pretty good. I like that one a lot. Okay, okay, so that is what the sprays look like. So I'm gonna go in the next um, video, we will work on some uh, doing gesso and some modeling paste and see how that goes. So thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Think about subscribing and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.